Looking to start a custom printing business, but overwhelmed by all the options out there? Whether it's shirts or hats or everything in between, we're breaking it all down one method at a time. Welcome to Print Lab Basics, our new series exploring beginner-friendly ways to get into custom printing using real affordable equipment you can actually start with. Today, we're kicking things off with sublimation using the Epson SureColor F170. This is the entry-level sublimation printer that's compact, cost-effective, and perfect for personalizing everything from mugs to mouse pads. Are you ready to learn if sublimation is your entry into the custom printing industry? So what is sublimation printing and why do so many small businesses love it? Basically, it's a printing process where sublimation ink turns into a gas under high heat and bonds to polyester coated surfaces and fabrics. What the heck does that mean? Well, it means we can't use our normal items found at the local store. These printers can create full color photo quality prints onto things that are either made of polyester or have a poly coated surface. We normally call these sublimation blanks. Then, using our heat press, our printed image turns into a gas which literally dyes the surface of that item. This is going to be a permanent decoration process that is undetectable to the touch. Because it has such a smooth output, sublimation is super popular for customizing drinkware like mugs. But other popular items do include keychains, puzzles, ornaments, coasters, metal panels, socks, mouse pads, and even performance gear. But like I said, this method is great for vibrant full color prints and a permanent decoration on whatever you're pressing, no weeding or layering required. Now the only real kicker with this method is we're sort of limited to lighter white color surfaces and those poly or poly coated items I mentioned. Now based on all this information, what products would you sublimate for your business? Drop a comment down below, let us hear it. When it comes to getting started with sublimation, the Epson SureColor F170 is one of the best, dare I say the best, entry level printer on the market. Compact, affordable, and super reliable, this model is the desktop solution for anyone looking to get into die sub. For starters, the F170 is purpose built for sublimation. That means it's designed to handle sublimation ink the right way. From internal components to ink flow, it's backed by a manufacturer's warranty. And you can't really say that about a converted printer. It does support a max media size of 8.5 by 14 inches and using genuine Epson dye sublimation ink for that rich color output in the EcoTank style refill system that keeps your cost per print super low. Now out of the box, we're looking at a super fast setup to run high resolution artwork up to 1200 by 600 DPI. You can even connect via USB or Wi-Fi. This machine is built for consistency and reliability even in everyday use. Personally speaking, this is the epitome of a first-time sublimation printer who would fit ideally in a small home operation or a craft setup for lightweight production needs. Think custom gifts, proto shops, Etsy listings. You want to hear the best part? This is the most affordable OEM safety certified dye sublimation ink available on the market. It's also great for existing shops looking to add sublimation to their lineup without breaking the bank. So, ready to see how it works? When setting up your F170, you want to make sure to install the printer driver from the Epson website so your computer can effectively communicate with your device. This will give you the option to send prints properly from wherever you have your designs. And when I say print properly, I'm referring to two things. One, the print should appear slightly dull or a little faded. With sublimation, we don't need to soak the page with ink to get a great transfer. The driver helps tell the printer how to do that. And two, because sublimation is pressed face down, the design must be printed in reverse or mirrored style. This driver takes care of all of this. Let me show you. We're working with the Prisma Swingaway set at 385 Fahrenheit for 45 seconds. So go ahead and get this guy nice and centered. Now we're gonna press this face down and I just wanna eyeball it nice and even. And to secure the transfer so it does not move, we're gonna apply two pieces of heat tape. That looks good. When pressing sublimation transfers, we do also recommend to lay a cover sheet below the materials as well as on top. That way, we can keep our heat press nice and clean. This is also gonna be highly effective for removing any ink from possibly staining the heat press and also, we wanna give the item a little time to breathe once pressed to let that ink settle. Moving the transfer from our item too quickly may result in blurred or ghosted images, which we do not want. This looks good. And remember guys, we're not just limited to bags. With sublimation, we can personalize phone cases, jewelry, notebooks, and more. And with the F-170, we can do it all from our home office. 
Wow. Sublimation doesn't have to be complicated, especially with an entry-level compact setup like the Epson F170. Today we walk through just how straightforward the entire process can be and the sort of vibrant, long-lasting results it delivers. For crafters, beginners, and small business owners, this compact setup could be exactly what helps you stand out. Plus, it runs the most affordable ink in its class. And this is just the beginning. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that post notification bell so you don't miss any episodes in our Print Lab Basics series. We'll be diving into other print methods and even more machines. And if you've got questions or need help with anything we've covered in today's video, drop it in the comment section down below. That's going to do it for this one. My name is Estevan. We are all American Print Supply. This one's coming home with me.